Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest arrival, the first V8 Chevrolet. Well, actually there was one in the teens, but the first one that everyone remembers, the 1955 Chevy Bel Air, and this is a convertible. Let me give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about this 55 Chevy Bel Air, but I want you to make sure to watch this entire video from start to finish because what we do, we do a nice walk around to the car, show you all the details. We'll do a cold start up of the engine so you can hear all that stuff. You can see the engine compartment as well and give you all that kind of stuff. So you want to watch the entire video from start to finish. Now, or you can uh, go to our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com or you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right there to this car as well and to all our other cars that happen to be on our website at this time. And it is close to 100 classic and collectible cars right now, ranging from cars back in the 20s all the way up into the 70s and beyond. But today, one of the most iconic cars of the 1950s, of course, is a 55 Chevrolet, the first one that came out with the V8 engine. It's the 265 V8, uh, beautifully redone motor, just as it was from the factory. And they even ordered power steering on this car, which you and I know power steering is something that we hardly can get by without. Don't even know cars that don't have it. Well, in the 50s, that was an extra additional cost to have power steering on a car. And it might have been 50 to $70 more, give or take. And a lot of people say, oh, I don't need power steering for that. I got the steering wheel as big as a Mack truck and this thing, I can handle any of them and whatever. But you know, it's just, when you have a collector car, I'll tell you what, it's one of those little extras that really makes it fun to drive, easier to park, easier for in many, many ways. So take a look at this absolutely beautiful car. I mean, the chrome work on this car is spectacular, as well as the paint on this car, which it is gypsy red and shoreline beige, which is one of the favorite colors of all time for these cars in 1955. The other thing as a kid, and this I mean, many of you will relate to, I just love those hood ornaments. They look like a jet airplane or something. So if you were a kid, of course, riding in the center of the front seat, no one wore seat belts in those days. You were always looking out the front windshield thinking, you know, hey, I'm flying or whatever. It was just one of those things kids did at that time. And I was no different than anybody else. Bumper guardettes on the front and back on this car as well. Look at the beautiful white wall tires on this car. The original type tires with the full hubcaps with the white uh, around the inside of the center of the hubcap. Beautiful tires, just the way they would have come in 1955. Now, of course, 1955 was the new body style as well and very, very popular car. Chevrolet really hit a home run with this particular car. If you want to have a car, in my opinion, that's probably even better than it came from the factory in 1955, we're looking at one right here. This is a complete body off, restored to the nth degree. The paint and body work, everything is way more superior than what they, you know, when they mass produce these cars, they had to get X number of them done. Whereas this one, someone took their time. The fits are really nice. The engine is detailed far better probably than, like I said, when it was brand spanking new. But take a look at the interior, correct interior for this car as well with the uh, bench seat with the flip, you flip ahead, crawl into the back seat. Lots of leg room, even for us older adults that can get in the back seat. These cars have plenty of room to spare. Now I like the other thing, they have done nothing to cobble up the dash. In other words, a lot of these old cars, someone by this uh, time frame has probably cut out the radio and put in some aftermarket. Well, guess what? It's got an original AM radio. However, it's been upgraded so it doesn't use the old tube setup. Turn it on, it comes right on. Beautiful, beautiful thing to have done. I like it. It's kind of one of those unusual, the speedometer goes to 110, which I always is, I kind of shook my head going 110. Yes, a lot of them were 120 on cars later on, but 110 was really fast in 1955. 
And uh, it is just, they, like you say, totally original interior all the way around. It's an automatic car, of course. Uh, comes with a power white vinyl top. I mean, hey, it's one of those things, and the white boot goes as well. But it's one of those things, if you happen to have a day you're out cruising and, say, the weather turns on you, and a few, within a minute, you can pull the boot off, pull the lever, and the top goes right up. Very, very easy for anyone to operate. As I mentioned earlier, look at the size of the steering wheel. Beautiful condition all the way around. The horn rings in perfect shape. Uh, automatic on the column, as I said, the power glide. Uh, it is just, it's a big enough steering wheel that if you didn't have power steering, you could still parallel park this car. Uh, this guy actually had also done, he put uh, dual exhaust on this car. It has a nice sound to it. I'm sure you can catch that in the video when you watch that. You'll hear how nicely this car runs. And it was a cold start. We started from scratch. So it was, uh, it is ready to rock and roll. This is the stuff I look at, the quality of the chrome around the vent windows. You know, vent windows, big thing. Lots of people smoked in those days. For us poor kids stuck in the back seat, it was really nice when you had a car with vent windows. Mom and dad could open those up, and at least the smoke got, <clears throat> got sucked out for the most part. So your kids in the back, we didn't get uh, too many of that cigarette smoke stuff. Uh, like I said, beautiful and done interior, beautiful red carpet, the red correct Chevrolet mats, even has a clock as well was another option. Everything was options back in 1955. You went to the dealer, when you ordered stuff they brought you out, you had to order a side mirror. That was something extra. You had to have the full hubcaps if you wanted, or the white wall tires, or you know the AM radio. Many people deleted radios. They didn't listen to the radio. It's just one of those things. Someone really put this to car together very, very nicely. Now you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. You get all the information on this car and all our current inventory, and you can also find some of the stuff that we've sold in the past. So if you're someone has some little time on the internet and just like to peruse it, whatever, you got it right there. Those sites will help you get some of our see some of our stuff as well. But yeah, it's one of those cars, 55 Chevy, first V8, I mean, of mass production for Chevrolet. Really, really was an outstanding uh, car that uh, people would relate to. If you're a car collector, if you're looking for your first collector car or your 50th or 100th, a nice 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible is always a welcome addition to anyone's collection. Now you can come down and look at the car in person if you're so inclined. We'd love to have you come down. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and even on Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you're like me and like to come on down, take a look. We'd love to show you around, let you take a look at it. You'll see how nice the interior is, how correct. The door panels are nice, all the door handles. I mean just everything was done what you do when you do a full-blown restoration and this was done exceptionally well so if you're looking for that we uh, have it right here in stock we appreciate you watching our video today and we thank you again for visiting Ellingson Motor Cars and we will see you next time